This is the video that I discussed the last time that I made a video. Um, this is going to be my LBCC Apothecary French White Powder Review. I just made powder go everywhere. I have it on my face. Um, I mean, I'm sure you can tell that I put powder on my face, and this is the powder that is on my face. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful powder that I almost spilled everywhere. Um, you can see it's very white. Very, very white. And it smells like bergamot. Uh, for those of you who don't know what bergamot smells like, it smells Merle Grey tea. That is what bergamot smells like. So, this is the French white powder. This is an amazing powder if you have pale skin. If, if your skin is fair, then you understand the struggle that is having yellow skin or having pink skin or having skin that just you can't wear makeup on because nothing matches your skin tone. This will change that. This powder is amazing for fair skin. Um, it's a white base, so it's, it's going to reflect the natural colors of your incredibly pale skin. It's not something that you need for dark skin. This, this is just not for dark skinned people of any nature, unless you're doing the whole Versailles look, in which case this is perfect. The French White LBCC Apothecary Powder is wonderful. It's a smooth, soft finish. It has a lovely scent. It's going to stay on you all day. I put this on about five hours ago, and it's still just going strong on top of my foundation. Um, the foundation that I used today, um, I didn't really just, I didn't, I wasn't feeling it today. So, uh, today was just mostly concealer with some powder on top of it, and this would be the foundation. This is Dermablend Leg and Body Cover. Makes amazing foundation, especially if you have very fair skin, because most foundations for fair skin are usually yellow, um, or they're orange, or they're pink. So, to avoid that, I use this. Uh, it's a pure white. Um, this is a, this, this color just, no, that's not what this looks like. I'll show you what this looks like. This looks like, there you go. It is, well, first of all, it's a mess, but it is extremely fair. This is so much lighter when it dries. Once this oxidizes, this turns this color. So that with this is an amazing, amazing combination because they are the same color. This is the same color as the foundation that I use. So if you have very, very fair skin, this is definitely going to work for you. This is going to be something that, I'm sorry, I, I don't know if you can hear like the slamming of the doors downstairs and like the dog barking, my neighbor's doing something, I don't know what's going on, but apparently it's door slamming day downstairs. So this powder, this will run you about, I think... $15. It's at least 10, but not more than 15. So that's, that's going to have to be the price we go with. Cause I don't know exactly what the price is. Um, this was given to me by her as a gift. So, um, I don't, if you saw the last video, you saw the photo shoot with the rabbit. Um, Um, that is my rabbit. Her name is Wednesday, and she's really sweet. Um, that photo shoot, um, we did for Alicia, and she ended up sending me a, a box of all of these products. And, I mean, I was, I use her products anyway. I've been using them for the past three years. Um, this powder she sent me, I, I think it's $15.00. Um, that sounds about right. Her prices are really super reasonable. Um, you're not going to get something from Alicia that's going to be anywhere near 
retail makeup price. Um, the, of course, LBCC Rouge that I did the last video about, which is of course always in within hand reach, um, I think is 10 or 15. So, I mean, when you look at what you're getting, this is about $15. This is about $15. So 30 bucks and you've got enough rouge for God knows how long. This will probably last me a year. And this, which will probably last me about a year or two. This is about half the size of the lavender powder. So I would say this lasts me maybe about a year. Uh, unless I try to powder my hair, in which case it'll last me a week. So, only the only the only concern I have is that this is much smaller than the other one. Um, I wish this were available in Alicia. I wish this were available in a larger one, like this. See, that's my only complaint. This is the lavender powder, by the way, um, with this lovely label on it. Um, she has a thing for labels. Her labels are just always stunning, stunningly beautiful. This is the rouge label, which you didn't really get to see in the other video because of the lighting. But I mean, these labels are just absolutely beautiful pictures that she designed. I think she designs most of these herself. But anyway, you're looking at around $30. So if you're, if, if you're buying both the rouge and the powder, you're looking at like $30, which is not bad at all, which is really, really not bad. I know that for a lot of people that is pretty bad, but if you're someone who fights with your makeup on a regular basis because it doesn't match your skin or it breaks you out or whatever, this is going to be worth every penny for you. I know it was for me. Um, if it were not for Alicia's makeup, I... I would still be breaking out constantly. Just my whole face would be broken out and I'd be like piling concealer on top of breakouts because there was some strange fragrance in the foundation that I used. So this, this product in particular, this powder has such a soft glow effect to it that it's really going to light your face up. You don't need much of a highlighter. You don't need a lot of shimmer and sparkle and bronzer and crap like that when you're using this sort of powder because it's naturally reflective. You can kind of see the lighting situation. That dog is so obnoxious. Um, you can probably see the lighting situation in here. There's a window right here and then there's the window behind me, which makes for very strange lighting, but you can see here yeah, like if I move my hand, you can see the reflection on my face of this makeup. It's It really is just lovely. It really is lovely. And the softness of it as a product really makes a huge difference in, in the way that it goes on your skin and the way that the finished product looks. So that is my review for LBCC's French White Powder. It's wonderful. Uh, I hope that some of you go. I hope that some of you go and try her products out. I hope that some of you buy them. And if you do, I know that you're going to love them because they are wonderful, wonderful products. They're lifesavers for people with sensitive skin. So um, her information will be down below. You will be able to click on the link, hopefully. And Go show her some love by buying some of her products. They are wonderful. They really, really are. So that's it. Uh, next video, I think, is going to be the Turkish Rouge, maybe. And then I'm going to do a video of all the products on. Like, I'm going to put my hair up and powder it and do the foundation and the whole Versailles look and everything for you. So that should be fun and interesting. So, um, yeah, I'll see you next video.